Hey, my name is Dennis Herrera, and today I'm going to talk to you about the federal government budget process. Have you wondered where, does our, where do all your taxes go, or what does the government do with those taxes? I bet you didn't know Congress is responsible for creating the budget process. The government revenue comes from the citizens' pockets. The president has a say-so in the budget post, but does not have the last word. What is the budget process? The definition of the budget process is where governments create and approve a budget. Basically, is the expenditure with respect to the organization and its core functions. Which responsibilities overall functions of the firm, each Congress works on the federal budget for the next fiscal year. According to nationalpriorities.org, the U.S. Constitution designates the power of the purse as a function of the Congress. The Constitution does not specify how the Congress should exercise this law or the power of the purse or how the federal budget process should work. It also does not specify the role of the president either. So in order for this to happen, we first have to have departments and agencies submit their proposals to the president. Step two, the president submits his plan or proposal to the Congress. And this usually takes place in the first Monday of every February. Step three, the House of Representatives and the Senate create budget resolutions. And conference committee, committee of the House and the Senate members resolve the differences of the resolutions between the two plans to create and find a final version. Each chamber then it's allowed to vote. Step four, appropriation committee distribute the funding. The House of Representatives and the Senate and the state appropriation committees divide the discretionary spending among 12 subcommittees. <coughs> the subcommittees set the funding for each agency or department, their own and run by the government. Step five, the chamber votes on appropriation bills. The full House and the Senate vote on their bills. <coughs> Both versions of each go to conference committee to march the two. Both chambers vote on the same version. If approved, then it goes to the president. Step six, the president signs the bill into law. If the president does not sign the bill, by September 30, appropriation bill will not have a budget for the next fiscal year. So what does this mean if we don't have a budget for the next fiscal year? It means that many of our government services would stop. In other words, many of the government will shut down and its functions will stop. So that means no parks, no passports, no NASA, no memorials, no grants, no tax refunds. So in conclusion, we need the budget process in our economy because the economy will be, will be a disaster without the budget process because taxes won't go in and the budget process will simply not work. The government has to keep running in order for, we, for us to have its services, such as Medicare and other stuff like that we need.